everyone to Auto Gefühl again. On this base review, we are starting in the basement garage. Why? Because here we can really hear the Citroen DS5 hybrid that it, well, sounds like nothing because there's the electric drive as well in it. So we are starting the car. We don't hear any engine. We got a, a automatic gear lever here. Put them up put him into back gear. We got a camera for the rear. And now we're starting and it's just silent. And it's actually very cool, I think, because here in the basement garage, okay, it's very comfortable because you don't uh, get the exhaust running and you don't fume all the other people here in the basement garage. And as well, if you're just um, like in the, in the housing living area, so now it turns on because we are driving faster and we need to go up the ramp. First engine is a diesel engine with 160 horsepower and we got the electric drive with around 40 horsepower. And that combined gives 200 horsepower so we got enough speed if you really want to accelerate fast. But if you do so, well, he has to use the diesel engine because the electric drive doesn't have so much power. The electric drive here is rather for if you go very, very slow inside the city, for example, and don't have to accelerate that hard. For example, now I'm running towards the red light. I'm driving 20 kilometers, just like the last meters. And we see here, it says zero emission. That means just the electric drive is activated and diesel is not running. Now I'm standing here in front of the red traffic light and there are no emissions for like people running around. So if anyone, like everyone would have this hybrid car, everything would be standing still, no sound, and nothing would come out of the exhaust. Now again, we are driving around 20 kilometers an hour, and we're still just on the electric drive, because I can't drive faster anyway. Now, if I want to accelerate, get around the next bus, diesel motor turns on again and I can drive faster. I think it's a good transition this car, this hybrid car, because for just the single only electric drive cars we don't have the infrastructure yet, and, but we still have to do something to get away from the petrol engines. And so that could be a good compromise here. And well we got the consumption about 5.8 liters now, we've driven around 300 kilometers and well you could have a lower consumption, but you just stay at this level. So even if you drive faster, because always when you go faster, you always have to like some, someone break or let the car just roll a bit. And then the battery loads again. We see here on the display, you see the, um, like the orange arrows and the blue arrows. Now again, we just roll, just the electric driver is running. So if I just press the throttle very gently, nothing, and then as soon as I press it harder, we got the diesel. So it's always switching on and off again. I'm not sure if that's really good for the engine, but Citroen says it's no problem. We've built the car that it withstands this turning on and off again. And so we have to trust on that. Maybe wonder we're in the countryside now. You maybe wonder if you can also use the electric drive here, the hybrid. And yes, you can. For example, now we're going downhill. There's our special friend, by the way. Hello, hello, hello. Do you want to make a photo of us? Oh, we're <laughs> going too fast. So now we're just going downhill, and I can just let the car flow. And I'm not braking at all, but we still get slower. So I have to press the roll a little, little bit, just that the diesel motor isn't going on again. I'm again on zero emission. And as I'm going downhill, I'm also filling up the battery. Maybe we can see here, I got um, a small screen for me here, on the right side. And the blue dots, they show me how the battery is filling up or is empty. And right now, I'm filling up the battery as I'm going downhill. Now we're at the bottom of the hill and you see the battery is totally full again. 
On the exterior, the Citroen DS5 Hybrid is really a beauty. Well, it's a car for extraordinary people. And that's also the reason why the Hybrid is sold quite often. One out of three DS5 cars in Germany are sold as a Hybrid. Well, it's the reason because the target group is kind of similar. Because extraordinary people and well, tech-savvy people and people that are open to new stuff, they buy a Hybrid. And also people like that, in the type that target group, they buy a car that looks like DS5. And for example, the interior is also very special. For example, we got here this cockpit-like roof, the split glass. You can't, cannot open it, that's a pity, but it's got a split view here and this kind of console here right in the middle. Well, you don't need this keys too often, but it looks kind of cool, I must admit. Still, if you Look around here, I counted all the glass, the windscreens. There are like 14, 14 separate windows. 14. <laughs> That's, well, it's a design feature, yes, but I think it's a little bit too complicated. You could have used like some more simplicity here. The steering wheel has this aluminium look and it's also very nice to handle. You can't expect is like a fast stability when, for example, driving 120 and being in a, in a fast corner, you don't have the stability like in other premium cars. That's kind of lacking here a bit. So from the technical side, they still have to do some work, but the optical side is very well done here. 